What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we have sent our battle fleet in to engage this Dutch fleet which is blockading Chatham Docks. As we know, uh, Britain is screwed without trade. So let's crack on. Our job will not be to capture the enemy fleet, it will be simply to just destroy them. But it is tempting to do chain shot just to slow them down because I am a bigger heavier fleet the fire at will button orders get out of here you yeah if I sell something like that with chain shot just to slow them down a bit because this could be the this could be the issue with fighting fighting uh, powerful fleets with with your main fleets, is that they simply just end up being too slow. Well, your ships are too slow, and their maneuverability will end up doing a lot of damage, or enough damage. Okay, let's, let's get towards them a bit. There we go, something like this. And when we get it in position, there we go. So fire it will with your chain shot. See if you can see if you can dismast one. That would be very handy if you could. Sides. and load your battery eh, maybe stay with this again open up your fire at will zone Yes, if you get in a good position now, you'll be in a lovely spot. So decrease sail, slow down. Increase your sail and pitch around to the left. You guys are now your own group. This guy's going to pitch around to help fire a chain into the Zealandia. These guys need new orders. And to be honest, these guys that can't really fire, they may as well fire a round shot. Some good shots into Zealandia. There you go. Keep creeping forward. Come on, you got a good series of guns on the left. Good. There you go. It's a mast down. You guys need to form your own. Just try to keep going. Get past this shit. Get past this uh, blockage here. So you slowly try to sail on in that direction while keeping them in in line, in position. Chain shot because. People are starting to full to pull their, to keep their get their sails going again. Uh, round shot, because as you guys pivot, you can actually get some good fire off. So you pivot, keep pivoting. There 
There we go, so now we've all got Tangle there. Actually, if I did Chain... That could be quite... Well, fire. Yeah, knocked a mast off the rear. Yeah, you're wavering. Oh, you better be firing a will with Matt chain shot, because that there is a perfect shot for you. Can't see Landier's routing. But you can use, you know, you guys need to fire a round shot, because otherwise they're just going to be. Wow! Oh, they're actually listing over quite severely now. Let's spin you around. Right, you need to try something a bit more extreme, maybe. Just keep moving. You're firing at well. Good. Knock some masts down off of them. Slow them down a bit would be lovely. Fire! Reload. And hopefully they fire at will. We'll keep their poor batteries firing against Zealandia. Ultimately, you could be in for a bit of trouble. some quite good damage. Fire! Reload. Fire my last few guns. Reload. Do I fire change to slow them all down? I know they're only Briggs, but at the same time I don't want to Need to keep you here firing canister. You need to get over. Get it. We'll just get involved. Because right now you're looking a bit dodgy. But if you just keep firing chain shot, oh, everyone's unloading on everyone. Fire. Reload. You're all firing at will. Fire. There you go, I'm knocking some sails off that brig. Okay, you guys need to do this. You guys all need to effectively do this. Get you out of here. Fire! Surrender! Good. Chain shot. So right now they've got my fleet in a bit of a pincer.
round shot. Make sure you are actually engaging. Good. So let's keep you firing round shot. Keep pouring shots into that ship. A mast going down? I did hear a mast going down. Good, you're against a 50 gun ship of a line, so you do have support. You fired part of your broadsides, that's why that's not going to work. Fire! <laughs> A handful of guns. Smattering of firepower. Let's get everyone back up together. Let's get you to do some chain shot if people are going to fly around. With their masts up. Have you got any guns left? Nope, and you're miles away, so you may as well keep firing round shot. Absolute melee this is. There you go, at least that ship of the line is routing. Let's get you doing chain shot as well. I just feel so much better when their ships don't have sails. Good, surrendered. So let's get in a position to start hitting Don Van Utrecht. So left left battery. You need to you need to pivot this way, I suppose, if you're gonna pivot at all. So you peel left with round shot to try fire either onto the Briggs or onto this guy. just so I don't lose it. God, Hamden, you are knackered from the starboard side. You're knackered from the port side as well. Glorious See, they are trying to... Ooh, I heard cracking. Oh, yes, there we go. So let's get a round shot. Let's get you pivoting with round shot. Let's get you sailing on. So right now I've just got all these frustrating little brigs. You... Uh, make sure you capture that ship. So which side do I want to send my knackered first rates down? Oh, I want to send them... Yeah, this way's fine. There you go, that's a few ships on Zealandia, which originally routed, but came back. And is currently their last ship of the line actually involved in the fight. I mean, these are just brigs. But yeah, I want this guy to sail right down the middle. Oh, a bit of friendly fire. There you go, Zealandia is surrendered. Take all of my ships, well, except the one that I've got, chasing down that ship, and do that.
Increase your sail, you damn fool. But yes, fire onto this ship, which houses their admiral. He's on deck somewhere, the scamp. See, it said dismasted for a second there, but where's your mast? Is it your... the one sticking out the front? Yeah, it is. You're fine. Don't worry about them. Yeah, you may as well grab hold of them now, then. 230 men versus 77. That was pretty, pretty astute handling from the second rate ship of the line. HMS Arab. There's my, there's a captain. Is my admiral? No, it's not my admiral. See, that's pretty, it's pretty tight manoeuvring for a ship this class. Ah, Comet has started firing. Bit of friendly fire. Fire grape shot? I've never found grape shot to be that useful. Not as useful as just firing a broadside into the side of them. See, you are steady until one... There's your Admiral. Until one goes like this. Grab him. Still more firing into the combat. Breathed in smoke. Excellent. Surrendered. Surrendered. Entire fleet knocked out. And Hamden is sinking. But does it matter? We have won. We have cleared the docks. And we've that will be the last we see of them. So you've captured the ships. I'll go for the big ones. But the brig and the frigate, I'm not going to worry about. Then let's take George Elphinstone. You get into port. And repair with whatever money you can find. So... In terms of my military campaigns, I am in northern France, I am in Copenhagen, and I have taken Christiana, bringing Michael Stowell back to Copenhagen. For a garrison, let's take Percival Slaughter down here, start to have a look at what's going on down south. Arthur Wellesley holding the breach against the French, and then I've got my trade ships coming down. So what is the most valuable resource? I'm pretty sure it's ivory. Still, yeah, it's still ivory. I've gone to T just to mix things up a bit. Cool. So where is my... Ah, yes. So I'm going to bring you back up, Wellesley, up to here. Because you're going to be a Copen my Copenhagen garrison for now. Um, but I want Wellesley to go down to Gibraltar to start... You know, take Gibraltar, or maybe, maybe, just maybe. So who do we get? Alexander Abercrombie. I would like another admiral. I would land two stacks in Gibraltar and push up against the Spanish, um, up against Madrid, and then start trying to take out France's southern territories. Although I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a fight uh, here, pretty imminently. I'm not going to be able to get... Probably not going to be able to get fortifications built, so it's going to be an interesting uh, city battle. Aha! <gasps> you a militia unit? The col column d'attaque. Is that a column? What is that? Is that a column? A French column? Lots of artillery, but I've got the infantry overmatch. So will this? We'll see how this goes. So. I'm going to put a little asterisk on here because I've not actually fought the French properly before. So let's do it. I could well lose. Um, experience and confidence in in this game is not as much as it was in uh, Napoleon. In Napoleon, I can be pretty sure when I think... Not Napoleon. 
in Empire. Pretty sure if I think I'm going to actually uh, win or lose. But in this, it's a bit of a just battle. But I suppose this is what happens. He's they're deployed, isolated, alone. Ooh, do I hold the town? I've historically I've always done badly when it comes to holding the town. So let's take everyone out here a minute. Just to figure out my plan. Not a flag of the French Empire. Well it must be, but Fuselers of the line, Regiment Hibernia, Fuselers of the line. Oh, that's the, so that's the, the French column. It is not a pretty sight. Militia, Fusiliers, Chasseurs of Cheval, Fusiliers, 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 Militia, Fusiliers, Chasseurs, Chasseurs. Now I've got my King's German Legion Dragoons. Line, infantry. Well, you're not. <laughs> I hope not. I hope you're not. I think that might be almost but so here they'll be constricted and I can actually form up some some line infantry positions. So I might put two artillery batteries on the flank. Let's put two units of foot and a unit of Highland foot on the flank. Foot, 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 and King's German Legion. Because I can do this. Which will pay dividends because they'll be in constricted positions. And do I want trenches or do I want cavalry defences? I'll go for trenches. So you're my centre. An artillery battery here. Let's take two units of Highland Foot. Group with trenches. Two more units of Highland Foot on the flanks. Ooh, I definitely want them to deploy. To de so, oh, so this is um. So let's check out this infantry unit. This is, this is Scottish Highland Light Infantry, which. Yeah, at range 120, accuracy 30, so they're a bit less accurate than regular foot. Worse at reloading, but carrying more ammo, and their melee stats are not as good. Which is not surprising. So I want to put one out on the left to deploy, and one out on the right to deploy. Then let's keep cavalry on the flanks. And in the centre, rely on more... Actually, I might give you a horse a cavalry thing. Horse. Anti-cavalry position. Good. And then let's keep Sir John Moore here. And let's, let us begin. Oh, I didn't give these guys defences. Do a bit of spreading out. They have no targets as of yet, but they will do. So wherever I get, oh, so this is the Colon de Attack. So wherever I get a local advantage, I'm well. I'm gonna absolutely want to. Uh, okay, so that's what they got. Eight pounders. So I am outranged. So unless I get aggressive, it's always an option. I think I might just have to uh, accept the artillery overmatch. 12, 12, 8. Accept the artillery overmatch and... Uh, Okay, deploy some stakes on this flank. Although it looks like the cavalry's going all going over towards here. 
But I've got to be ready to fold this flank in to help roll up the corners. But it looks like they're massing in the centre. Well, no, they're not. They're just, it's just the artillery. So I want to make sure... Okay, let's spe speed up time a minute till I'm in a position to shoot back. There we go. So we are... Hit the French column. Yeah. So they are picking at me, but they're not doing a huge amount of damage. Put my dragoons out on the flank. Although, to be honest, this flank looks overkill. So... Well, not overkill, but, you know, not necessary so let's move up and take the high ground let's limber up let's move up so I want to push the left I want to push the right uh, because well, there's no threat really So I am picking away at the French column. Ooh. The Highland foot are unhappy because they're being shot at. Also means you need to relocate, find a new position. So is that the fuselers are uh, redeploying at speed? Could have them garrison the house, but that leaves a bit too much of a gap in the centre, which I don't really want. Ah, good. So they are starting to to redeploy and to try and match me. But it's not going to work because I've got the overmatch. So you're going, yeah. So you're going here. I'm going to run them to make sure they get in position. I'll worry about redeploying my general imminently because right now I'm trying to push the flank. Infantry only, by the looks of it. I want to find a nice hill to plonk my artillery on. Which is going to be... Here. There we go. You weren't expecting that, were you? So even though I don't have artillery, I have firepower. I've got the first volleys off. And you are being fired on by the glorious Highlander foot. So make these guys walk to set up. Being careful of all of their cavalry. Yes, yeah, so all of their cavalry back here, so I would not win a cavalry fight. Right, so you need to pound that column, because I've got a suspicion it's just going to come straight at me. What I want to do is win on the flank. Yep, 
Yeah, they, they can engage. And you need fusiliers. Okay, so they're still walking for now. Spread my line out just a little bit. Okay, so I think I want to advance some infantry up towards the cavalry block and towards their rear area. So I want to get some... Then let's bring my light infantry into the melee. Not into the melee, but, you know, into the fight. Okay, so there now our lines are matching, but the Regiment Hibernia is retreating. So the French column is... Okay, is that a cavalry charge? Which I don't know if that will kill my own cavalry. Wouldn't be surprised in this game if it did. Guns firing. Okay, let's fall back my my left. Okay, so where's their cavalry? There's the is that there? Hit their chasseur a cheval. Pull them back because it looks like the cavalry is going to try charge. Oh, you're still too, you're too deep. I need to wait for you to fire all your volleys, then I'll redeploy you. Infantry are routing. So who's back here? French Assads. Go for it. Pound away. Pound away. Oh, nuts. Is that my light infantry? It sure is. We're firing into Lancia, so you just hold them. Maybe hit the guns. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, you're probably the Lanciers, but I can't watch you right now. What was that? Okay. Okay, so that's going to take give me more casualties than I would like. But say la vie. Let's get these guys into the mix. Uh, let's get you to bayonet cavalry. The artillery, sorry. 
What has happened here? You guys have had an absolute nightmare. Why have you run in front of them? It's just the militia and the column d'attack. It's not great. They're winning, but I have to do what I have to do. You hit the Union of French Hussards. Scottish Light Infantry. Make your way back onto the field. Start advancing you up into the rear. You hit the unit of Chasseurs à Cheval. You hit that unit of Regiment Ibernia. Delicious. I mean, I'm losing more men than I need to, but I'm trying to do a bit of Empire Total War style fighting here. Just pin them with my infantry. Eventually they will, the numbers will just get too much. And they will just all die. There you go. They're just going to open fire on the French Hussards. Good. Turn off melee. Okay, let's get my Dragoons back, because they're not doing well. So my other cavalry's back here, just having an absolute riot. Let's bring them over here to start threatening that right flank. Apart from that, though, everyone else... Advance your line. Although you're all, you're all, you guys, all you Scots, look like you're gonna go charge those French hussards. There you go. It says broken, but let's redeploy. Let's re retarget that artillery. Just shoot at them. Come on, Scots elite infantry. No, actually, don't don't fire. I've got my dragoons back here. I can pick up. Fusiliers of the line. Just charge that unit. of Fusiliers of the line. There's no point damaging yourself. Okay, your job is to hit the guns. Your job. to move up. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Damn right. But let's do a bit of rapid read quick uh data big big redeploy. Right, let's do this. Throw him in. Throw him into the hussards. Oh. Charge into that regiment, fuse days of the line. Seems like you wanna, but let's halt this artillery fire. The general has been killed. And destroy the gunners. Let's halt artillery fire with you, even though there's no one you can shoot at. Everyone's routing. Let's just bring you over here. Oh, absolutely continue. Um, you carry on fighting there. You... Don't gun it for them. Hit this column attack. John Moore, let's get you in too. Throw my cavalry in. Even though they're all going to rout because they're close to the edge of the battlefield, but whatever. See you later, boys. Off you go. Trouble is, though, there's probably plenty more where they came from. 
We'll see about that. But it's a win for Britain. We have managed to hold on to one. Uh, Wellesley also into northern France to help make sure that I don't get isolated and destroyed in that one area. Who's ah? Off you go. Perfect. Oh good, the Prussians have opened up another trade spot, which I will promptly steal. Excellent. I know, it feels right to put Wellesley in Spain, though, that's the problem. But I also think I might just be at risk of fighting on too many fronts at once. You've sabotaged my farms. Okay, do that. You guys are replenishing slowly, though. But there's nothing I can do about it. Does clearances help? Yeah, clearances does help. Yeah, basic roads help too. So I think... Let's pick up a new admiral. Let's pick up Alexander. Alexander Abercrombie. Let's just bring you out of London. Can I recruit any new big artillery, or is that something really... I really need to start... I need to get these 9-pounders. That's what I need to do. So let's take my fencibles out. Put Wellesley in. Embark the, the army. On the 32-gun frigate. Or do I go hit Bordeaux? No. Let's go... So if I take my 32 gun frigate, send them down to... La Corona, I can move this navy safely into the into French into a French port. Ooh, bit of a big lag spike there. And let's move the fencible back in. It's got another dockyard up there. May as well, yeah, may as well build the lumber mill. It's cheap. And then do you need roads? Or oh, would roads be better? Plus eight per turn. Yeah, I like the plus eight per turn. I just generally like, you know, compounding growth. Good. So you are being taxed. You are being taxed. Excellent. So let's bring a merchantman down to here, and then let's take you guys. Is that ivory as well? It's tea, so it's not going to be worth as much, but let's still do that to tag it and make it ours. 13,000 a turn. But yes, I need to build a great ordnance factory to maintain my bankruptcy. Am I going to, how am I going to go bankrupt? Well, I was going to go bankrupt before... Uh, I cleared out this guy before I cleared out the docks. Pretty sure I'm probably going to want to send a frigate into here. Because what are you, are you recruiting anything? You are recruiting something. So let's break it, take this fifth rate, and then raid Rotterdam. Good, it's pretty comprehensive. We now have control over pretty much the Atlantic coast. See, they're building a great arsenal. I'm an artillery undermatch here. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.